Hello. I want to ask you a question. Do you know when you are on the real site or a fake site? Example, paypal.com. How do you know you are really on paypal.com? Well, if you was to type in paypal.com, most generally you would go to paypal.com, assuming you spelled it correctly. But if you get a link in an email or a pop-up that is asking you to click on it to go to paypal.com, you want to question that. Most of the time you don't want to click on that link. If they're asking you to update your information or verify some information, go to the website by typing it in yourself. Don't click links. To identify if you are on the correct site or not, it should say paypal.com and then if there's a, a area that they want you to go to like login or accounts or something like that, then it will have extra information behind the .com. Now it be paypal.com should be the first thing you say then there may be some extra text. If it's like this and paypal.com is not the first thing in the URL, then it is not the site that you are intending to go to. This is true for any website, whether it be your credit card, your banks, PayPal, Facebook, any site. And every site will be the name of the site, dot com, dot net, dot edu, dot whatever it may be. And then maybe some text after that. But the name of that site will be the first thing that's in the URL. If it looks like this and there is, it is not the first thing, then you are not on that particular site. So if you use a click a link and brings you to a site that looks identical to, in this case, paypal.com, and you would go ahead and enter in your password and your username, you could be entering that into a malicious site that is simply collecting that information, and then a person will be logging in later on or selling that information for someone else to log in later on and pose as you. This is particularly bad if it's a place like PayPal that has financial information, um, your bank, credit cards, uh, if it's your Facebook, it could be equally damaging by posting things that aren't true. Um, soliciting people for for money or just spamming them you, you get the idea so it, it would be wise to always look at the URL in this case it should be paypal.com and not newsjack.in dot remix you know you get. Now, this particular website, I use it to show you this because I am able to put in PayPal.com and say I want to use this as my fake website. And it's, it's a tool used for educational purposes. They're not really hacking into their site. They're just making it look like their site and putting their URL first. So, if you get a link that says click here to verify information or to go to the website, don't do it. When you do go to the website, ensure that it says the website name 
first, then maybe it has some text after that. But always make sure it says Google, Facebook, whatever site you're trying to go to. In this case, it would be Google.com. Thank you, and have a great day.